Welcome to the FBAA's Top Broker Podcast for mortgage brokers looking to take their business to the next level with your host, Joshua Vecchio. G'day and welcome to Top Broker. Josh here and, and Jaden. Hey guys, welcome. And these are nine amazing tools. And what are they going to do, Jaden? Like, you're going to love this episode because we're going to go through one particular tool, which means you're not going to have to print a single application form ever again. And also another one that's going to make sure that you don't have any missing documents. Like there's no back and forth. It's incredible. If you're not using these tools, you're really, you're being left behind. Literally, you could save a full-time employee without these tools. Anyway, get into it. Most of them are free. Let's check it out and let's get into it right now. So, Tricall, what have you heard about this? Yeah, listen, I thought it was kind of dumb. It's okay. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. And we're mates for the guy that owns it. But I think we're getting well, busier and before, busier. What is it? I mean, how does it work? Yeah. So basically, the way it works is you pre-record a message. So we might have all gotten a message from a certain major yellow bank where you'll suddenly get a message that says, "Hi, mate. It's X and X BDM here. I've got a policy update." So basically, what it does is you pre-record a voice message. It sends that voice message out to a database of people, and it keeps you in touch. Without even, it doesn't even look like you've had a missed call. So essentially, it's like an SMS, but for voicemail. So you don't have to do anything. Yeah, so I thought it was kind of dumb because I reckon seven out of 10 of my clients don't even check their voicemail. So a lot of brokers are using this for the approval. So when approval comes through or settlement comes through, they don't even call, they just leave a voicemail. Well, I reckon where trial coil's good is it's good for keeping in touch with customers after settlement. So big it's time. like, hey, yeah, I'm thinking I think that's you. where it is. Yeah. Or I think it's a good one for a birthday where it's like, hey, Josh, sorry mm. to miss you. Or it's like, hey, sorry I missed you. Happy birthday, blah, blah, blah. I still think it sounds, even on the voicemail, it sounds a bit... It, a bit candid it it can i think if it's used properly it's a very powerful tool i think post settlement is where it's at anything pre-settlement is is the wrong that personal touch anyway try call not a bad tool to automate your business next one burst sms what's this i love this one so burst sms is an automated sms tool where it is crazy powerful it's like the mailchimp of text messaging so if you need to confirm appointments if you need to even do birthday sms's um it's super fast you can send settled customers like, hey, congrats, you, your deal settled. You can send one at seven days saying, hey, just remember that um, your direct debit's coming out in a couple of weeks and you're going to check it. I just like it because it's super easy. I think text messaging, people actually check and respond to. I feel like I have a higher response rate on text message than I do on email at the moment. Big time, big time. And not many people are utilizing SMS because it's so hard to automate. This tool is a must-have app. For any broker. The next one's MailChimp. I mean, if you're not on MailChimp, I don't know where you've yeah, been. Yeah, if you don't have a newsletter, you're, like you're a rookie. I, I think we've said it before, you need to be touching base with your customers 14 times a year. 12 of those times should be with your newsletter. I think RBA updates are stupid. I'm sorry to say it. But like seriously, how many people, how many mums and dads, if you think about our parents, if you think about anyone that we know. How who, is that adding value? Well, who gets excited about, oh, oh the RBA held the cash rate. It's dumb. I think a newsletter that's targeted makes more sense. I've just settled my home. I've just taken on a huge debt. I'd love to know how to pay it down quicker. Or, or even a, a car a loan. A lot of people in 12 months buy a car. So start. what about the information about that? Next one is file invite. File invite is something oh I it's love. The backbone of your business, Absolutely you, you love. Us, how do you use it in your business, file invite? It's as simple as a document checklist for clients. So instead of getting a thousand emails back and forth, it's a secure pa- uh, portal where clients will actually upload the information based on the points that you've asked for. Wait, so you don't just get it via email? No emails, no emails at and all. So do you have to do a fresh email template every time asking them for two by most recent pay slips, a group certificate and an ID form? Well, that's the best part. You create it once and you send it a thousand times. So it's a beautiful platform. And how much does it cost? I think it was about $12 a month for the, the so basic it's user. So it's, it's, We're not getting like, check it out for you guys. It's not for everyone, but I think if it, you want to spend less time chasing your documents, it's a great app. And if you're going to use File Invite, you have to integrate a company called bankstatements.com.au. So, so I feel like this is actually more powerful than File Invite because my personal bugbear of the last like 10 years is someone will send you statements. Congratulations, you guys have been able to download your statements. But it'll be an Excel file of their statements. Nothing worse. Or it'll be like Nothing missing worse. their address or it'll have the wrong name on it or there'll be something wrong. Then you have to call them and explain, no, you sent me 
the bank statements, but it's missing the most recent 30 days. Bank statements essentially rips all that data for you, so you don't have to. It's a secure platform. It's the same encryption the banks use. It's perfect. So get on it. Clients love it. And I think a good tip that you had on this one this week, Josh, is you need to tell people that it's paid for. So people are really scared about it because they're like, well, you're going to download all my internet transaction history and blah, blah, blah. You need to explain to people some education things saying, hey, we actually pay for this service. It costs us money, but it's going to save you time. Actually, another good point with bank statements with the issues with living expenses, it actually does it all for you. So if you're not on this platform, it's going to save you at least half an hour per application. Get on it. Zapier, what is it? Oh man, this is, this is my personal favorite. So Zapier is kind of like the conduit between all the different apps and stuff that we pay for on the internet. It makes bank statements, talk to our CRM, talk to our MailChimp. So it kind of connects everything. It, it even it's a grease between to, the wheels, isn't yeah, it? Well, you can... Once you stick something on your so on your blog, it'll automatically post to our Facebook and just make life easier. Which comes to the next app along is Buffer. That's like an automated social media posting platform. So you can post something once, and then you just get to recycle every three or four weeks, which is great because the fact is that even if you've got a thousand followers on your Facebook um, website, Facebook page, sorry, um, only like a hundred people will see each post. So if you recycle it, it's a good way of doing it. And DocuSign, DocuSign is one of those must-haves. Essentially, all your compliance completed with a click you, of a can button. Can you take me through this? Because this is one that I found really hard to initially set up because it's a, it, like it felt like it was a pain in the ass. But how do you use it now in your business day to day? What do you actually use it for? So one of the things is a big cost is printing and even collating all the printed pages. So instead of printing out an application form, uh, or the compliance documents, we put it all through DocuSign and get them to sign it. Most lenders aren't accepting digital signatures, but those who do, it's a valuable platform. It's one signature that goes on everything. No uh, printing pages. Well, people like it too because they don't have to print stuff at home. You can email it to customers. They can do it in the office. It's gorgeous. Do it at their own time. Evernote, you're a big user of this one. Yeah, I love this. So, uh, like one thing I always found hard to keep tabs on was I'd have customer notes in one place. I'd start writing a blog article somewhere else. I just I just had stuff everywhere. So, Evernote is always in my pocket. I actually even use it now for voice um, memos. So, if a customer asks you know, a great question on a topic, if they say, well, um, am I eligible for first homeowner's grant? I'm like, oh, that's actually a good article idea. I'll put it on Evernote, just do it as a voice memo, record it to that, stick it on there and I'll come back to it. So it's just kind of like my day-to-day pad all in one place and the best thing, stuff doesn't go missing and it's free. So they were the nine must-have tools in every mortgage broking business. Jaden, what was your favorite? Mate, I reckon I can't go past Burst SMS. So, so I think there's something to be said for being able to get in touch with customers very quickly and making sure they actually read your message because how many times do you send an email, you leave a voicemail for someone and like, oh, I hope they're going to get it. Nothing worse. Well, yeah. Well, and for you? Mine was bank statements. I mean, bank statements is a godsend. It's at least saving half an hour per application. And the biggest one is that it will ensure there's no undisclosed liabilities. So get on it. So Jaden, how how is uh, Mortgage Brokers supposed to find us? Yeah, so hit us up at topbroker.com.au. If you've got any questions, we'd love to answer it in future episodes. So again, um, hit us up at topbroker.com.au or check out the Facebook group. But until next time, guys, see ya.